Meep Meep, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Meep. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tucson Roadrunners have been making history this past week. I know many of you don't like history, you don't like learning about history, but historic numbers coming out of Tucson, Arizona. Let's jump right into it. Tucson beats the San Jose Barracuda. 3-1, to one, best of 5 in the first round. Not sure why they do best of 5 games in the AHL, but I'll take it. I'll take it, boys and girls. I'll take it. Let's go here. Leading the league in points. Can you guess? Dylan Strom. Leading the whole AHL playoff uh, league. Just uh, unbelievable, Dylan Strom. 3 goals, 5 assists in 4 games. That's 8 points in 4 games. 2.0 PPG, just Dylan Strom, anywhere he goes, every ice surface he touches, he just has success, he leads the team, he leads by example, just a wonderful special player, and I love, I've been watching this guy since junior, world juniors with Canada, just unbelievable player, I, I'm so excited for his future, but let's get going here, it's not just Strom, no, he's got a whole team behind him. And let's talk about Aiden Hill with back-to-back -back shutouts to close out the series. He's got a 1.76 goals against average with a .94 save percentage. Um, off the chart numbers. That's ridiculous to have an under two goals against average in a playoff series. And he won the number one job. I thought it would be Hunter Miska. You've heard me talk about Hunter in previous videos, but Aiden Hill won the net. So confident, just such a good experience for these young guys. It, I'm really so excited for this team and uh, what they're going to learn in these playoffs. Moving on here, we got Super Mario Kempe with four goals in four games. He's been on fire to end the season. Him and Kraus really have just uh, upped their games a few notches. And providing that secondary scoring when Dylan Strom doesn't show up some nights, which is very rare, or Carter Camper doesn't get on the goal sheet, or now that Merkley is injured, you know, other guys got to step up, and Kempe and Kraus are filling that role. Kraus has got four points in the four-game series, so point per game for him. Camper, like I mentioned, four assists, no goals, and... Um, some sleeper guys, Connor Garland scoring that huge second goal in game four to put up put, put the Roadrunners up 2-0 in, in the third period. And from then on, Tucson just closed it out. They won 3-0. Game three was a bloodbath. They trounced San Jose 6-0. Um, just unbelievable. I keep saying that word, but it's just magic. The crowd in Tucson is so loud, so white, it's so bright in there. You could hear the chanting and when San Jose was playing at home you barely heard the crowd. I mean given they're playing in an NHL, NHL size arena in the SAP Center whereas Tucson was playing in a smaller venue it was easier to hear the crowd but honestly man the crowd was so energetic, so into it it's just great to see in Arizona playoff hockey and a team actually producing and translating their regular season success into the playoffs. So they got they got to keep going here. You know, Super Mario Kempe, Dylan Strom, Lawson Kraus, Lane Peterson with that game one game winner. One minute left in the game, he, he scores a dagger to put up put the Roadrunners up one nothing in a series. Uh, Camper, like I said, it's. It's pretty um, unfortunate. It's unfortunate that Merkley and Dolphin are injured for the rest of the playoffs, but it just goes to show the depth of this team and other players stepping up. Great job by Chaika to get players at the trade deadline to beef up this Tucson team. Um, even without knowing Merkley and Dolphin will get injured, he still made those moves to make the team even deeper and scarier. And they got to keep it rolling here. They got the Texas Stars in round two starting on Wednesday. Uh, don't know much about the Texas Stars, um, affiliate of the Dallas Stars. I don't see the Stars having a, much of a good prospect pool, so hopefully Tucson gets it rolling. Aiden Hill just uh, defends his hill, as some would say. Unbelievable. I, 
just unbelievable his numbers, looking at his numbers in a playoff series. I mean, 1.76 goals against average, come on. Just uh, a great, stable, consistent goaltender. And uh, the defense, you know, Campbell and Murphy, Mermis, Mayo, just oh, just a great group of guys. And, uh, yeah, round two, they got to do it. It's a best of seven now from here on out. So they got to win four games instead of three. It's going to be tough. But uh, I think they learned a lot from the first round. They feed off the crowd. And they're going to get the job done. That's it. Just uh, have faith in Dylan Strom because he's going to lead the team far into the playoffs. That's it for me. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, thank you for your support.